Just a moment ago, I heard a knock coming out that way from my front door. So I walked out there, and lo and behold, it was the UPS man who brought me this box. Wiggle your toe. Get your lagel. Or lagel? Lagel. Here to be some paper or something to get from not ordering from Cult of Athena, I suppose. Okay, so that seems pretty short, doesn't it? In fact, box, bubble wrap, oh, oh, we're down to just cardboard. Cardboard's off too. Now we're down to paper. Ooh. Preview. Let the black scatter. I know what that is now. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what we call skull and crossbones. What can it be lying on my floor? Another sword. Guess what? I'm not bored. Okay. So, if you haven't guessed by now, this is the Windless Black Marauder. What is the Windless Black Marauder? Well, it's sort of a we don't have the license anymore. This was Wesley Sword from Princess Bride. Now, you may ask me, why am I after this sword? And where did I get it? Well, it's only available on Amazon despite being a windless product. You notice now, we got a doodly blah blah blah, doodly blah 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 blah, and a doodly blah 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 here, and kind of a doodly blah 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 here, and doodly blah 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 there, and there, and there, and some doodly blah blahs here, and some doodly blah blahs there. One handy dandy little tape measure. So we will go. Boop. And that is about a. Ah, well, says about 32 inch. Okay. So now some close ups of the sword itself. Pointy point. Yes, paint on it. And oh, no edge whatsoever though. That's not what It is a double ring. Nice, nice. Uh, some people said you couldn't put your finger over it, but uh, I honestly think it feels just fine to hold that way. This is some leather wrap, which actually I think is real leather. Yes, feels real like leather from your ancestors and, uh, I've slayed. Adios. Here's metal. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm going to check the blade if the guard's ringing. Not very in tune. Not so bad. Turn off the quillion. Okay, so it does ring a bit. I think it said it was. I don't know. We'll look on the internet again. See what they list the steel as. Picasso up to about there, blunt. And uh, take one marauder. Place marauder balance on scale. And we get one pound, 11.1 .1 ounces. Wow. That's not even two pounds. That is pretty freaking light. Okay, so while they call it a rapier, I would not say a 32 inch blade is a rapier. That would fit within the range of side swords, although most sides. <whistles> this rapier from Windless. I forget what they called it way back in the day. Uh, they called it a military. Oh, that's not gonna work. I should bounce this way. Okay, but that's pretty light. But that's two pounds, six point six ounces. Still rather well balanced, as you can tell. It's balancing about right here, I think. Right, of course, there's a much longer blade in comparison. We can show that. Okay, a lot of those blades up to where they be. Yeah. Let's see, we've got a few more inches on the rapier. So then we have my Franken side sword because this sword, the blade guard, no, blade grip and pommel of one sword, the guard is from a different one, but we have. 2.15. Of course, it is a much wider blade, and I don't think it's, I think it's about the same length, though, isn't it? Bink. Bonk. Yeah, just a little bit longer. A couple inches longer. So this one literally balances right here at the hill. Very nice feeling sword. A little bit wider for cutting. I consider it a side sword. It could be an early rapier or whatever. One last sword to compare it to. This, again, is a Fairly wider blade. 
the single ring and the shiny shiny guards. It doesn't match the palm on the least because I put the sword together myself over the years and it's actually made of two different cross pieces. The reason is, I don't know who made the blade. It was at one of the windless sails and the tip was more rounded. I'd reshape it and all. Not a whole lot of distal taper to it, but so it's got a further further up point of balance than the other ones. Ooh, hang on. But it's still only two pounds four ounces however interestingly this sword the way it's 2.15 ounces feels like it weighs significantly less in the hand than this one which weighs 2.4 because this one's point of balance is hang, about that far from the guard whereas this sword as you can see balances right at the end of the second ring of the guard. So, boom, 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 boom. Did you see an orb fly through there? Slow mo repeat, and yes, we see an orb. How crazy. Just one I did. Damn ghosts. Anyway, you can kind of get a, kind of a, with my little hands here, a note at how big the hilts are. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I said that one I assembled from all kinds of pieces. This one I bought as is at a sale. And then this one is pretty much the sword as it was sold by Windless way back in the day. And there are some I've seen similar to this in history. Although not quite the same. I think they usually have a, this, this linking up further up here. So I have some pictures. I'll put one in right there. How about now? That? Will I leave this guard black? Probably. Will I paint this guard black? Possibly, um, I can do some enamel paint and it'll look fine enough. I may leave them a little mismatched. I don't know, but that's going to be a new set. And then this sword will be a solo side sword on its own, as is this one. But this one is a solo rapier. Although, I don't know when rapiers without the uh, without anything on the back side were popular. I'm guessing they were kind of towards the end of the rapiers before the small swords become popular. And so I would... Guess they were transitions, transition rapiers, modern term. You also notice that the guard is slightly bent backwards here. The reason is when I got this thing, this, oh, brace it, ah, there we go. This forward ring was pressed down much further. These were bent further this way, and this ring was almost flattened to the handle. It was about down to about right about here so to bend this up and in doing so push this back but i pushed this back first and then bent this up and that came forward a little bit and since it's brass and brass is soft and can break i said you know what i'm not going to bend it anymore because that little bit of push back there just adds a little not much but a little bit of protection to the back side of the grip yeah so fine enough and I never polish my brass because I like that antique look. It looks more like bronze and also gives it an antique feel, especially since this one apparently sat in a warehouse for quite some time. See those age spots? They're not rust. They're just oxidation on the blade. See, so it gives it an antique look. And even though after I polished the blade, it still was on there. So now it just looks antique. So I think the antique brass works nicely with it anyway you're not supposed to be highlighted right now you are black marauder and i'm actually liking you because you are a decently long blade that i'm used to 32 although it looks shorter with the rapier guard i thought it was going to be like 28 inches before i measured it so that's pretty cool that's actually the same length as some of my other swords but it is really feather light it is a little bit heavier hef heavier Heftier, a little bit heftier than a uh, small sword would be, but given that this is going to be a bit of a cutting blade as a side sword, I don't mind that. But it is really light. Like look at that. I'm doing this two fingered. I'm actually impressed with that. I did not think I was going to like it as much. I figured I'd like it, and it was mostly to match the dagger. But I originally wanted to buy it back when it was the Wesley sword. Didn't get it, and then. They came out with a Black Marauder a few years later, tried to get it, they sold out, and then they said they weren't going to make any more, then they showed up on Amazon only, I tried to buy one off Amazon, 
I got my money saved out. They sold out. I said, screw it. They got more back in. I tried to get one for Christmas. I went to my dad's house so he could buy it for me for Christmas, and they were literally sold out. Like, they had some before I went to my dad's house. I went to my dad's house, pulled the site back up, sold out. I was like, are you kidding me? So I bought something else that year. And then I come home. By the time I get home, they'd restock. So, <laughs> yeah, it's been, God, I don't even know how many years it's been trying to get this sword. And now I finally have it. I think it does actually look good with this dagger. Anyway, that's my quick opening first impressions and comparisons video. And that is all you're getting today. Wow, one more, please. Technically, the bottom coin is shorter than the top coin. That aesthetically bugs the crap out of some people. I personally don't care. Oh, by the way, oh, I know what I need to show y'all. That's my scrawmony from knee surgery. If any of y'all been uh, wondering where I've been, that's where.